This is unsettling news just one month before school is set to reopen. I reached out to DCPS and a spokesperson sent me a statement thanking the principal for his service. The union says he was fired in retaliation. Why now? It's definitely like a like a gut punch. The news hit hard as the school community grapples with the return to in-person instruction. Longtime Schools Without Walls principal Richard Trogish was abruptly removed from his position one month before planned reopening. He's one of the few principals now who's willing to ask hard questions of upper leadership. You're saying because of his open questioning of the system and questioning as to whether or not our schools are safe to reopen led to his termination? I'm saying that's a factor. A DCPS spokesperson said they do not comment on personnel issues, but his staff is questioning the timing. We don't know um, what's up next. And at the time, the one thing that was consistent was the leadership. I would love to go back in person when it's safe. I talked to teachers and parents today about their growing concerns with the plan to bring back elementary school students November 9th. The plan focuses on returning 21,000 of the school system's children who are most in need. And I like that their focus is on equity. But I don't think that this plan will actually result in much equity. DCPS laid out its timeline for school improvements, including classroom setup, signage, PPE, and more. Chancellor Lewis Farabee says schools will be ready and safe for children and staff. But many say the plan still lacks specifics that would help them feel safe. I cannot risk it. But now that I'm seeing, like, even teachers are saying, I mean, double no to sending their kids there, I'm like, then it's some stuff that a lot of people know that I probably not. I'm probably not even aware of the way that decisions are being made by DCPS right now is contributing to a greater sense of instability. I asked DCPS for comment in regards to the growing concerns from parents and teachers. I'm still waiting to hear back. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.